Hey, it's Chad H.D., host of the Chad H.D. Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 a.m. KFYO. A lot to get into uh, this next week on the show. On Monday, we'll take a look back at what happened over the weekend in the land of Donald Trump. Um, some disturbing news as Donald Trump possibly had a stake over the weekend. And here's the disturbing part. He ordered it well done and ate it with ketchup. What the hell? We'll talk about that on Monday, but also what we'll talk about is uh, the president's ongoing war with the media, with the press, or is it the press's war on Donald Trump? Uh, let's take a look at the uh, New York Times article. By now, you probably know what happened. Uh, in a nutshell, and this is what the media will explain to you uh, on CNN, MSNBC, Fox, uh, 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 et cetera, uh, here's what happened. Uh, there was a, a, a press gaggle, if you will, not a full briefing, but a press gaggle uh, on Friday. And uh, there were some uh, news outlets, CNN, the Los Angeles Times, uh, the, New, uh, the New York Times, and Politico, among others, including the Huffington Post, uh, were among uh, the media outlets that were shut out of this press gaggle uh, or, you know, small press gathering. Uh, now, this has been a, a, uh, a big issue among those in the press. The average person, I, I'm still convinced that the average person really doesn't give a damn because they don't like the media in general. Uh, but uh, what you've heard from CNN and the New York Times is a, a lot of butthurt that they weren't allowed into uh, this, this, this gaggle, this uh, small press pool uh, or briefing, uh, as they call it, even though it was not the official press briefing. This was uh, not part of it. Here's what this was, and Sean Spicer uh, actually... <clears throat> excuse me, had uh, uh, covered this the right way, the uh, the uh, 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 spokesman, uh, Sean Spicer came out and said, listen, this wasn't a full briefing. This was with the pool. Uh, the uh, small press pool is determined by the White House Correspondents uh, Organization, and it changes every day. The press pool changes every day. The press pool gathers the information, and they give it out to the rest of the press. Uh, now, the White House is allowed to bring in extra people if they want to do so. Well, guess what? That's what the White House did. The White House, and I'm reading from the New York Times, by the way. Uh, now, you've got to go a little bit deeper in the New York Times to actually get this part of the story. Uh, but, but I'm going to read straight from the New York Times here, okay? Uh, reporters from the New York Times, BuzzFeed News, CNN, Los Angeles Times, Politico, the BBC, the Huffington Post were among those shut out of the briefing. Aides to Mr. Spicer admitted that only reporters from a group of news organizations that the White House uh, said had previously been confirmed. Uh, those organizations included Breitbart News, One America News Network, the Washington Times, all with conservative leanings. But also it included these folks, journalists from ABC, CBS, The Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, and Fox News. Those were the original, uh, those were the original, uh, press pool, uh, folks. And the White House invited in Breitbart News, One America News, uh, in the Washington Times. So they invited three news organizations in, and the New York Times is complaining that they, BuzzFeed, CNN, the Los Angeles Times, Politico, the BBC, and the Huffington Post. Seven. Okay, so they wanted an extra seven. That would have been a full press briefing, which was not supposed to happen. But how it's been spun this entire weekend is that uh, Donald Trump and the Trump administration, the Trump White House, is shutting out the media. No, that's not what happened. You had Breitbart. Uh, One America News and Washington Times. If you want to say they're all conservative leaning, okay, I'll give that to you. Um, but ABC, CBS, The Wall Street Journal might, eh, at times they're a little conservative leaning. Bloomberg, uh, and Fox News. Okay, put them in them with a conservative leaning too. But there you go. Uh, you, you, you had, uh, other news organizations that were allowed in. Some that are hostile towards the Trump administration and the Trump White House. Uh, so it's not like the Trump administration was really trying to, to, to censor anyone or kick anyone out. Uh, this is just the media in general and the liberal media in general 
throwing a hissy fit because they weren't invited in. They're on the outside looking in, as opposed to the last eight years when Fox News, Breitbart, uh, the Washington Times, the New York Post, uh, and other conservative news outlets, they were on the outside looking in. I'm not saying it's the right way or wrong way to do things in Washington, D.C., but this is life now for journalists, and they've got to get used to it. Here's something that you should do if you're a White House correspondent and you get shut out. Do your job better. Become a better reporter. Go out and uh, become a journalist. You know, go investigate something. Uh, if you don't think you're getting the full news story from the gaggle, uh, including ABC, CBS, and Fox News and the Wall Street Journal, then go out and find your own information. Uh, but I think everyone would probably agree uh, that uh, the right information was on uh, was released, and no one in the White House uh, is hiding anything from the uh, New York Times that they aren't hiding from, you know, Fox News and everybody else. Uh, is this Trump's war on the press? No. I still fully believe that Donald Trump loves the press. Why? Because he knows how to play them. He knows how to play the game, uh, and what they're pissed about is that they don't have a, a leg up on Donald Trump yet. Uh, they haven't found a way to tear him down. They've been trying for a long time, and they haven't found a way to do it yet. That's what they're ticked off about. That's what this is all about. Uh, this is the press's war on Donald Trump, not the other way around. What do you think? Want to hear from you? Uh, tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. Follow me on Twitter, Chad HD Radio, and, of course, you can comment below in our comment section. And, oh, yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Always appreciate it when you do. Have a great day.